Hi, this is Phil Newman from Longevity Technology, and I'm delighted to say that I'm joined today by pierre Edouard Sautard, who is the CSO of uh, Biostock. So, uh, pierre Edouard, nice to see you. Hey, nice to see you, Phil. Thank you. So let, let's let's talk about uh, Biostarks. Can you tell me a little bit more about the company? Because uh, to to me, I haven't heard of you before because we've been very US focused in our in our activities. But it's you know you've been been busy for a while, right? Well, just a few years actually. It's still a young company, but we are present in the US as well now. We are we are active in both Europe and and the United States. Yes. So with Biostarks, actually, our goal is really to empower anyone to to access to the biological data. Uh, to live to live better it's uh, it's uh, okay it's a big program but why we are really strong is that we allow anyone to do simple test at home to collect its biological data and then to receive really actionable recommendation on, on how to eat on, on lifestyle and on how to exercise and, and for sure now on longevity as well Pierre Edouard, so there are quite a number of uh, new actors in the marketplace so can you tell me how you're uh, different in your proposition yeah, I think that's that's uh, what's really different with uh, us is that uh, we own the labs. We have our own labs, and this means it gives us lots of flexibility. Actually, really to provide uh, um, to the measurement of molecules of biomarkers that really matter in this goal of providing actionable recommendation to our to our consumers. So currently, we have two tests: the nutrition and sport performance one. And with nutrition, uh, just to give an example, I think we are the only one that's able to measure the four classes of essential micronutrients, the vitamins, the fatty acids, the amino acids, and the minerals. So in total, we have more than 30 biomarkers in, the, in this test. To the very simple test that can be done at home with a finger prick. And, uh, and at the end, when the sample is received by the lab, at one of our lab, which is accredited, highest level of accreditation, uh, we use what is called multiplex technology, so that at the end it allows actually we have large profile that can really select the biomarkers that matter. Very good. Well, I, I guess that I, I I've got one of your tests here. This is the one you were talking about. This is the sports nutrition, and you also have the uh, the, the the nutrition test here. Now you're going to be moving into the longevity space with this new longevity product. So could you maybe uh, tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, the, the, the two tests that you mentioned, the sport performance test that we're so happy that's also used but, uh, by, uh, with the, by the best athletes in the world, the, 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 the Olympic champions and the uh, uh, NBA team, a Premier League team in, in, in England. Uh, these actually allow people to uh, exercise better, to improve their performance you know, with biomarkers of, of endurance. And with nutrition, it's, it's pretty easy because that's we, we, we at the end, people understand that what matters in our blood, we provide a lot of objective data and we're micronutrients. So a longevity test is based on these two, on the experience that we have now from the last two years. And on top of all these micronutrients that we have, and we also a panel of hormones, we have testosterone, we have cortisol, so important, we have progesterone, DHS sulfates, just to, to name a few. Uh, we are coming with some markers much more specific to longevity. And I, I maybe I will say a few words about my personal experience because uh, talking about especially NAD or rapamycin, markers of senescence, all these things that are moving so fast now in the field, I, I felt that uh, clearly people would do that, they are a bit lost because they don't know how much they have to take, what's, and they're, for sure we can measure biological age, but the impact is not direct. It's not really direct. So we need actually guidance uh, on how, how actually at the end we can, okay, for NAD, how much we should exercise or should we take any any precursors, what the, the effect they have and so on. For rapamycin, there are large internal developed variations. So whether you should take six milligrams, 10 milligrams, once a week, two weeks, that's all this question actually that's at the end, uh, we can provide answers with a simple blood test can be done at home. Yeah. Well, I have to say from my own experience, uh, it, it is very much the case that when you when you get the guidance on supplements, uh, but likewise, maybe when you're getting uh, guidance on your biological age, there's lots of very disconnected pieces of information that unless you're a clinician, it's very hard for, for lay people to really understand what it means for them. So, so you're saying that this new longevity product is uh, going to really help people with uh, navigating their own longevity and supplementation. 
Yes, exactly. One of our goals is really actually uh, to democratize this access to biological data. And we made everything. And we now we have the experience with nutrition and sport as that we, we ship globally. Uh, we ship globally. And uh, uh, we have a logistic system. It's so easy. You receive your kit at home. You collect a few drops of blood uh, from a finger prick. You click it. You mail it. Uh, it's prepaid. And you receive in the lab. And you get the results on your app. So it's, it's, it's very easy. And then in the field of loyalty, again, is really to, to give guidance to the people uh, to, uh, on what they do. So we hear what more talking about, uh, would say in the field companion diagnostics, this means that really biomarkers that help people that are already undergoing some, some, some taking some, some supplements or doing some interventions in the field of longevity. That sounds excellent. Well, um, I'm going to be testing the products. And of course, the, the product is available for pre-order on Indiegogo, which I think is very, very encouraging because, you know, you're reaching out to a whole new community. And we're all very aware in the industry that people are becoming much more aware of biological age, their, their own longevity, and really applying all these amazing products in the marketplace to help them with that. But of course, it's measurement is that is that really key thing. And I, and I know within the specification of what you're doing, NAD Plus, uh, taking a NAD Plus measurement is uh, a big part of that. So could you maybe just explain a bit more about that for us, uh, Pierre Adot? Yeah, for sure. NAD is, is really, and we measure NAD plus and pracellularly, and we, we're pretty proud of that because it was a, a, a bit of a challenge. Uh, actually, NAD is very easy to measure. The main challenge is NAD is, is very unstable molecules. So that if you go to your see with your medical doctor, you do a, a phlebotomy, so it means you take some blood, uh, you really have to measure really rapidly if you don't take any precautions. And uh, what we did, uh, uh, we came with a device, a blood collection device that was really able to stabilize just in minutes and 80. And that's what's actually, I think that's a, that's a breakthrough that's, that's, that we have. So really have, we have uh, NAD, uh, the levels of NAD uh, in, in cells. That's clearly the one that matter and not actually the, the, uh, in, in serum. So we got to NAD, sure, that's the, the I'm really impressed these days that's how many studies in humans are now um, undergoing and with the results on, you know, NAD is, is a molecule that we know is involved in so many hallmarks of aging, but every day we learn more about NAD and how it can even help inflammation, can even help Alzheimer. I'm really impressed by, by something that was a bit unexpected just a few months ago. So here we live with NAD with the mean to test NAD reliably and whether the person will do, I would say, interesting exercise. This is the best method to increase NAD, even more than taking NAD uh, uh, precursors or doing even some NAD injections. So now we measure NAD and we can recommend people uh, uh, to do actions to maintain the NAD level in healthy levels. Interesting. So, so in terms of the... Um, the cellular measurement of NAD, that sounds like a, a very interesting approach that, that you're taking. And of course, you mentioned that uh, there are studies uh, and there are studies associated with the way that you've created this, uh, this longevity test kits, right? So maybe could you explain a bit more about that? Yeah, the, the okay, yes. When I say studies, it's also what actually the people are doing right now in the field of longevity. So for sure, NAD is a big thing. Uh, that's that's it's so popular. Rapamycin as well. I think that's one of the only molecule that's really strong evidence that uh, uh, it improve a healthy aging, a health span, and uh, and this means that also we include try to include biomarkers that that will help people uh, that in really uh, in in really practical from biologic from uh, uh, objective data. Uh, markers of senescence as well. I, there is so much about senescence here. I think with regard to the studies that are performed, is, is senescence is so complicated. It's still not clear. I think that uh, how actually taking senolytics may improve healthy aging in humans, and that means we need new biomarkers. So I really love all these new initiatives that we have with new biomarkers of aging. And our goal as a company is really now to provide these new biomarkers. Uh, to anyone here. Great. So, uh, Pierre as well, let's talk about um, what's next for Biostarks. Um, you know, there's the Indiegogo campaign. Uh, maybe yeah. could you just explain a bit more about that for us? 
Yeah, okay, yeah, we, okay, two years ago, we launched the nutrition and sport and uh, they are working really well. And now uh, NAD is, we have already, we have two longevity tests, by the way, well, longevity NAD, which is NAD plus a few minerals. There's some key minerals associated to, to, the, to, to healthy aging. And when we have a longevity premium, that uh, now uh, uh, becomes available through Indiegogo. But there's still some work here, but again, uh, uh, still some work. Uh, uh, it's, again, it's it quite easy to measure uh, NAD as soon as it's stable. Uh, Brapamycin as well is an exogenous supplement. With the backyard of senescence, there's still some work. This means now we launch this campaign so that I actually would like to propose this test for this summer. That's our goal. Well, uh, Pierre Edouard Sautin, the uh, CSO of Biostarch, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Phil.